hi guys welcome to my channel my name is jenny so guys another nollywood actor this guy you're seeing here stanley okoro is dead like he he reportedly died of suspected case of um food poisoning on wednesday you know this guy is an actor like who normally played um all these comedy movies like this guy is just um, a fast rising star a lot of people love him because we I, I love his movies a lot because this guy it makes me laugh it makes a lot of people laugh because even if he's not doing comedy in his movies the way he talks the way he moves his bum bum the way he he walk he will probably start laughing if you are sad i don't know like his his death like came as a shock i'm still shocked this guy is one of those guys if you're on facebook you will see they use his um his picture for me some memes is it what they call it memes or i don't know they use it for all those funny funny um characters i'm so surprised that this guy is dead according to his um cousin they said he came to enugu like the cousin said normally if he comes to enugu because this guy stays in uwere imu state nigeria like they said if he comes to enugu according to the cousin that she is the one that normally bring food for him either she send a keke driver or she sent one of the other of their sister but they said this guy came to enugu last that that um this week and he did not even call them or ask them to bring food for him so it was later when he left that same day to asaba that he called them and was telling them that everything was done quickly that he's going to asaba to do another movie so the cousin said okay so he promised them that he's coming back next week that's this week we are entering i said okay so when he got to asaba finish his movie he went he, he went back to uwere that same day he get um he got back to uwere he started vomiting they said he's vomiting vomiting something um something liquid something liquid and he's very black like charcoal in color so they said um the native doctor said it's food poisoning and he was still vomiting and vomiting like he collapsed and they took him to hospital and he died in the hospital sadly he died in the hospital and a lot a lot a lot of his um a lot of his colleagues are really sad they they have taken to their instagram pages their facebook pages twitter to mourn him like it was a shock to him like one of um one of his his colleague okoro is it chike okoro or something he said he's still in shock honestly and this guy that died he made a f um a facebook um a, an instagram post he said if money if um he wrote if money when you get no fish solve your problem my brother chop see this guy loves food a lot even his cousin mentioned it when he was being interviewed mm -hmm. that the guy loves food food a lot i i think they just got him through that food you know a lot some people that love love food a lot you can get them through food if you watch his movies a lot you even notice that he's a lover of food but guys who could have poisoned this guy who killed this guy this guy is just a, a rising star i've seen everybody loved him we still love him up to up to now like i watched his movies yesterday when i had this um, news of his death on wednesday i was thinking maybe it's one of those rumors you understand i was saying okay let me wait and see maybe later he will just come out and debunk the news that is rumor but guys no this is real like real the barrier already been fixed like he will be buried on 26th of august by god's grace like they said and guys i'm just asking why are humans so wicked why are why how how would somebody just wake up you thought of killing another person maybe because you think the person is rising so fast than you or i don't understand look at this guy now look at this innocent guy this this guy here right here put smile on a lot of us 
a lot of Nigerians, a lot of lovers of Nollywood movies. He has a lot of fans. People loved him a lot. Is it the reason why you are kill the person killed him? People are extremely wicked. If you remember, few years ago, or yeah, Mr. Ibutu was poisoning was poisoned in Asaba. What is really happening between Asaba and Enugu? Mr. Ibu was taken from Enugu to Asaba, and he was poisoned. Now this guy again from Enugu to Asaba, he was poisoned. Who is poisoning them? Who? I don't understand. So this poison now, the pe the people that gave him this poison will be either Enugu or Asaba, because according to the cousin, he said the doctor said um, the poison is this kind of poison that works slowly. So they might have calculated the time he will reach to Owere to his place so that he will not die in location. You understand? Wow, people are extremely wicked, though. Honestly, everybody needs to be careful. Even your best friend, don't leave your food. Like, even if you are drinking water or drinking in a bar or drinking with your friends and you mm. want to ease yourself, my brother, my sister, carry your drinks for hand. Carry your food. Go where you are going. In fact, if it's, if it's possible, finish your food before going out to ease yourself. Or rather, when you come back, don't eat that food. Don't drink that same um drink you left when you went to ease yourself people are be, be, people are people are wicked these days jealousy are making people to kill like what is really happening with nollywood why are they poisoning their own like this particular person now that killed this guy or these people that that want to kill all this nollywood guy that is rising if you kill them will you be the person that will be there if you kill them, will, will Nigerians or will Nollywood lovers be watching only you? Everybody needs to be careful. Don't trust anybody with anything you put in your mouth. Don't, don't trust anybody. If you want to buy food, go by yourself. Buy your food there and eat. Don't left your food with anybody. Don't trust anybody with anything you put in your mouth as food. Be extremely. Everybody should be extremely careful because this is the dark days. People, people's hearts are, are like very, very dark, darker than black. You can imagine. Look at this guy. I'm so sad. Like when I heard it there, my body did me jiggy jiggy. But guys. It is what it is. He's dead. He's dead and gone. So, I, I mean, the person that killed him, he should be happy now, right? He should celebrate. Like, what is this guy holding against that person that warranted the person to kill him? This guy is not too rich. He's just an upcoming actor. He's just, he just works. He's just rising more, more. Hmm? This guy no get mansion, no. This guy stays in Oweri. He's not even staying in Lakey or anywhere or has a big house. Why do why why the killing? Why poisoning him? Why killing him? Hmm? This guy is not even married. This guy is just 27 years of old. Just 27. He's not married. Why are you, why? You just left his family to mourn. I hope wherever you are, the killer, that you are happy. That when you when you when you like when you lie down to sleep at night, you'll be so comfortable and happy that at least you've killed somebody, right? I don't know. I don't know how people sleep at night after killing people. Yeah? Please, if you have a dark heart, if you have a, a bad mind, you need to change. You need to change. You need to stop thinking evil because whatever you sow, you will reap it one day. It might not be you, your generation, you, all these things, all these evil things people are doing. They are just packing it for their generation. But I pray that anything my, my forefathers do will not be on my head. Anything, my gener anything people do, will not, it will not be my portion. Anyone, somebody did, let the person use his or her head to carry it. It will not come to me or my generation. Honestly, I'm so sad that this guy is dead. Like the thing the shock me oh the thing shocked me. Like I love using all this um this there is this his picture that he's naked and running. Like people use it to write something on Facebook. Like if they see where there is comment on Facebook, they will just use it and write something. I'm already late. Like all those funny funny things because this guy is a funny guy. He just that he loves food a lot and they got him through food. God, please accept him so and comfort his family may his soul 
and the souls of the faithfully departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Please, guys, be careful. Stay vigilant. Take care of your food. Don't trust anybody. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.